which dress you're going to wear is always a big decision for young ladies going to prom. And as News 8's Barbara Barr reports, one school in Adams County must now approve their choices weeks before the dance. It's so important to the girls. It's almost like equated to someone's wedding. The prom, a magical event that closes a chapter of a teen's life. For a girl, a highlight is picking out her dress. They spend so much time picking out a dress of their dream, a fantasy dress, if you will. This year, that experience for some girls going to the prom at Delone Catholic High School has hit a snag. Because it has that illusion of nudity underneath, and for that reason, it is not acceptable. Beginning March 1st, the school began requiring girls to bring in a picture of their gowns for pre approval. Stallone Catholic has the responsibility to uphold the Catholic values and moral integrity. At past proms, girls who wore dresses deemed inappropriate were kept waiting outside until their parents could bring them a change of clothes. That's a big expense to be turned away at the door, and we're trying to eliminate that difficulty. But the timing of the new policy, combined with a code that doesn't permit anything too revealing, has led to a number of dresses being rejected or in need of alterations. Some of them are plain frantic. Some girls had already purchased their prom gowns here at Simone's at a cost of several hundred dollars. Modified it here so that it is less revealing. Simone that, Hostetter is working to make changes. I do want them to be happy. The school says it wants the same. In McSherry's town, Barbara Barr, News 8. Okay, here are the results of our poll asking whether you agree with a private school having to require pre approval of said prom dresses. Looks overwhelmingly like you think they should be able to tell you. 68% say yes, 32% say no. I still can't get over the fact parents are paying several hundred dollars for those dresses. Not only that, those dresses have evolved. They're, they're very, uh, <laughs> let's just say they're <laughs> not as plain as they used to be. Not at all, apparently. <laughs> they, they look like red carpet dresses. <laughs> well, the forecast for the first day of spring includes some snow. News H Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun is next. These deer were out enjoying.